In the dry lands and fish-depleted waters of West Sumatra, a little child named Manin Gundang lived with his poverty-stricken parents in a village along the beach. Many villagers had migrated to other cities seeking for a better life. Feeling bored, Manin frequently dashed around with the only chicken that the family owned. Seizing worried by the snack, Manin brutally strangled it until the poor thing's body went limp. When Malin was five, his father decided to survey a neighboring country rich in essential supplies their hometown lacked. I'll be venturing out to another island, Malin! He announced and embarked on a ship, joining the like-minded villagers. Farewell, Dad! Years passed. Malin and his mother survived using sheer determination. The precious fishing town, please buy to help us! Malin's mother yelled as she saw the fish he had caught. At home, Malin continued chasing Gurik with his deadly intent until he tripped, fell, and landed with a deep wound on his arm. His worried mother nursed his wound with some traditional herb. This will ease the bleeding for now, but the scar will stay forever. If that were still here, you'd do way better than this. Years later, Malin had grown into a well-built and charming young man. Feeling poor on a plain beach, she stood up with a clear vision and exclaimed, I will sail the sea like Dad. No, my son, I can't let you share your father's fate. His mother cried, holding onto Malin tightly. I promise to be back wealthy. His mom fell to the floor helplessly as he shoved her away. That evening, he sneaked onto a ship, hid in a wooden chest, and sailed off. Pirates stormed the ship in the middle of his journey. We are under attack! They seized all the valuables on board, and the ship was left to rot. When Manin tripped out of the chest, he found that it had drifted all the way to a nearby beachside marketplace. The port was vast and packed with merchants. His eyes shimmered with hope even though his body was exhausted. Malin worked with continuous tenacity and diligence. As a result, he made a huge fortune. I'm rich! I'm rich! She exclaimed contentedly while showering himself with gold coins. One day, he took the love of his life sailing. As fate had it, they docked in the port of his hometown. News of Malin's success reached his mother. Is, is that my son Malin? After all these years? With a merry heart, she hobbled to the harbor. That is Malin! I am sure of it! thought Malin's mother when she saw him strutting elegantly of the ship with his pompous wife. Malin! You, you finally came home, my son! muttered his mother dressed in her ragged and dirty clothes. Malin's wife interrogated him. Who is this? Filthy woman! Is she your mum? Malin was nervous. He didn't want his wife to find out that he came from an impoverished family. His brother heard Malin lie to his wife that she was just an old beggar asking for alms. She was deeply saddened. How could you forget me, my son? I'm your mother! I raised you! shrieked his mother. Malin flared up and replied defiantly. My mum is long gone! She asserted that he was Malin and he still had a scar on his arm. This infuriated him immensely. He instructed his bodyguard to drag her away. With a broken heart, his mother pleaded. God, if he is truly my son, Malin Gundang, I curse him to turn into stone. Instantly, a rumble of thunder was heard. Malin experienced a progressive tightening of his extremities. to the ground and immediately turned into stone, mourning over his actions. His final thoughts were that he should have respected his parents, remembered their prayers, and recognized his mother's hard work when he gained prosperity.